Good evening, Nelson. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Great. Excellent. So, how was your day? Today was a little easy, teacher. All right. A little easy because it was your, um, you know, because it was Friday? Sorry? It was easier, you said? Yes. Because it was Friday? No. No, no today's Thursday, right? Oh my goodness, yeah, what a okay. mistake I just made. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, teacher, no problem. You know what? I got confused because today is our last class. So, and I thought it was going to be Friday, right? So that's why. Ah, yes, of course, teacher. Yeah, so I was just with the idea that it's Friday and it's no, it's Thursday. We're still missing Friday tomorrow. Let's see. Okay, so it's eight o'clock. Oh, uh -huh. Go ahead, sorry. And you, how are you today? Uh, I was pretty busy, by the way. All right, so, but um, it was nice because traffic was not that uh, bad as yesterday right because yeah last uh well last night or last evening it was terrible so it took me maybe an hour and a half to arrive home right so but today it was actually better so it only took me it only took me 40 minutes you know but the traffic it's terrible right I hate the traffic, Tisha. Ah, yes, I know. I understand that part. So, for example, how long does it take you to, to get home from your job? <clears throat> oh, in, in my way, it's different because from Zacateco to Oloquilta City, the road is mm -hmm. a little empty. Maybe um, it, it took me... Forty min, forty minutes. Okay, yeah, it, yeah. Normally, it takes me the double of that, but yes, it's different. That's advantages of living oh out God. of San Salvador, right? Yes. Well, let's see here. Oh, let me say, let me say good uh, evening to Adriana. Hello, Adriana. Hello, Erica. Hello, Hi. Vanessa. Hi. Good evening. Excellent. Thank you, girls, for being here and joining the class on time. Mr. Luna is also here. I can see he's joining the class right now. Right. Okay, let's see. Mr. Luna, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Good evening. All right. So we missed you in the last classes, my friend. So yes, how was I, your job? I, I have to do... Yes, I, 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 I have to do ex, extra time. Oh, okay. So you said it like overtime. Like this one. You know? Overtime. You know, you know. Overtime, which is like hora sexta, right? So, yeah. well, everybody, let's start okay. right now. All right. So we are going to start here with our presentation for tonight now that most of you are already here so i can see uh, there is adriana or um, let's see okay it's loading give me a second all right you know i was talking to nelson before and i was saying oh yeah Nelson, today is friday i was like completely wrong today is no friday <laughs> Right, so we're still missing Friday tomorrow. So let's see here. Okay, everybody, please go to this one so you can be in the same presentation with me. So participating, remember, it's an interactive one, so you can be answering questions at the same time. All right. Let me see here. I can see Adriana already access to the class. 
going to share the screen so you can see who's getting in. All right, here it is. Bye bye. Come on, everybody else, please join the class through the chat. I just sent the link right there. Hello, hello, everybody else. I need to please join the class. I can see Daniel, Antonio, very good. Isela, thank you. I'm missing Ivan. I will send the link again, just in case that you didn't see it before. So please join the class so we can go together. Okay, so meanwhile, we wait for uh, the rest of the people to join the class. Let's just start with the tongue twister, which is for today. So it's going to be our last class, our last tongue twister, people. So let's see this one. Uh, it's easier, right? So you can actually uh, repeat Teacher, it. hold on. Teacher, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on. This is our last sure. class? E yes. It is not tomorrow? That's what I thought too, but I got confused. Okay. <laughs> you know, so yeah, I went through the same situation. Don't worry, you were not the only one. Yeah, by the way, did it's you see? Clock, yes, did you see the message in the WhatsApp group? No. Hello? Yes. Yeah, no. it says there. It says there that. Today it's your last class for uh, the, the level. Uh, okay, I, I, I received the the, the survey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, when it comes to the survey, I guess we have to wait for uh the customer service team to join and let us know that we had to do the survey, right? Which I guess okay. Okay. So, well, let's just continue right now with the last tongue twister, all right? So, which is going to be an easy one, so you can be actually motivated. Don't forget to join the class, please. I sent the link already. I don't see, I only see four people, and we are more here in the class. There's a link. We have nine people in the class, so let's see. Okay. All right, awesome. So, they're going to be like, Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. So you have to repeat that four times faster, right? So let's see if you can actually pronounce it correctly, right? So for this one, since this one is very easy, I'm going to give you only one minute, all right? Only one minute so you can go ahead and actually practice it, all right? So it's going to be one minute right here. So time has been set. So practice it, practice it, practice it. Remember, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. Like that one with the R's, right? So let's see, let's see. You still have one minute to practice that. Yes, yes, like that. There we go, there we go. Please, everybody else, remember to join the presentation. Here is the link. Click on the link and join the presentation. Only four people have joined it, and I need everybody to be there. Holman, um, Erica, Hector, Ivan. Um, let's see. Thank you, Samantha. All right. Vanessa, please, if you can, join. Let me know. You still have a couple of seconds, people, to continue practicing this tongue twister. The red lorry, yellow lorry. Mm -hmm.
Hector joined the class. Thank you very much. Coleman joined the class. Thank you very much as well. All right, time's up. So let's see. Who wants to be my volunteer for the tongue twister? Mm -hmm. Come on, people. It's very easy. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Luna. Go ahead. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Yeah. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Yeah. Red lorry, yellow lorry, yeah. Red lorry, yellow lorry. All right. Thank you very much. You did it good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So that was good. Please choose the next person. Okay. Let me. I. Oh, let me see. Someone who got turned off camera. I don't know. German. All right, Holman Holman. Mr. Goldman. Good evening, Fatima. Are you in the class? I mean in the in the presentation? If not, please join it using the link. Hi. Hello. Go ahead, Mr. Mr. Hiron. Go ahead. <clears throat> okay. Uh, red, lorry, yellow, lorry. Uh, sorry, again, again. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. Uh, red, lorry, yellow, lorry, red, lorry, yellow, lorry, red, lorry, yellow, lorry, red, lorry, yellow, lorry. All right, great, excellent. All right, shout out, forget lottery, like with the R in English, right? But thank you, you did it wonderfully. All right, so now, Mr. Hirong, choose the next person. We're going to have five people participating, so we are missing three. Who's next one? Holman? Okay. Uh, um, Ivan? Ivan? Ivan. No, no. I guess we're gonna change that one because Ivan might be driving back home now. Uh, what about you, Isela? I see you're practicing, all right? <laughs> Me, teacher. All right. Read lorry, yellow lorry. Read lorry, yellow lorry. Read lorry, yellow lorry. Read lorry, yellow lorry. Okay, almost perfect, but just remember the first word is red, like the color, you know, red. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Try one more time, please. Red, red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. What about you, Adriana? Okay. <laughs> red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. Thank you, Drana, but be careful with the letter R, right? So because you started like lorry, but then the last two were like lorry, all right? So remember <laughs> the R, right? But you did good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, all right? The last one is going to be Fatima. Hello, Fatima. Good evening. Hello. Oh, I'm red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, lorry. All right. All right. All right. So you did good. You did good. All right. It looks easy, but it's actually a little bit tricky. All right. So that's what happens right there. So I hope everybody you have joined the class. Oh, let's see. Let me just send this one one more time. People, I'm sending the link so you can join the presentation because I want you to participate in the activities that we're going to have in the presentation. So if you did it, that's fine. Just wait for me to start it. If not, please join it because I can see here um, 12 people and only three of them, I mean, are missing here. But let's start the class, I mean, the presentation right now. 
which is going to be this one right here, so you can see it. All right. Let's just go ahead and check this one right here. So the first thing here was the tone twister, of course. All right. So, and then the, we already covered that one. So we are going to start with the topic for today. What's the topic for today? So it's going to be this one right here. Take a look at this one. Oh my God, what happened with the with the image? You know, well, one second, people. We have difficulties here, technical issues, but we're gonna fix them right now. Let's see. Mm -hmm. One quick second. See what happens here. Can you see the image or not yet? No yet. Okay, don't worry. Let's just reopen in a different um source here. So we can continue with this one. I can see the image, but in the in the page in quiz.com. I can see it there there. You can? Yes, I can. All right, thank you. So maybe it's just my computer right here, but I'm going to like show in a different um platform here let's see Take it is look. how to fix run on sentences right yes. yeah 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 like that one all right you continue in the presentation so i will just continue this one here is actually um bigger all right so this is a one of the last topics that we're going to be working with tonight which is going to be how to fix a run on sentence so first of all we need to understand what is a um a run on sentence all right so um, let's see, Erica, would you mind helping me reading this uh, definition, the one you can see here? Um, the, the first ones, yeah. which one? Which this one, one? This one, this one, this one. Ah, sentences fused by the wrong punctuation or not punctuation at all. Thank you very much. This is actually a run on sentence, like two sentences that are together, but they don't have the correct punctuation, right? Or they do have a comma perhaps, but it's not correct. I mean, the usage of the comma, it's not the correct one. So we have actually um, some things here, all right? So for example, let the one we have here in, um, in blue, right? Which is this one, let me just change the color here so you can see this better. This one, the one we have right here, take a look. It says here, Sarah is exhausted from work. And then we continue with another sentence. She needs sleep. But as you can see, for example here, there is no comma, there is no period. This one, it's supposed to be um, here, right? So here, here, here. So there's one you can divide the two sentences, right? So you're like, Sarah is exhausted from work. She needs help. Now, how do you fix them? All right, so, well, the first one here, or the first uh, tip to fix um, a round on sentence is going to be to use a, a what, people? Period. A period, exactly, right? A period, which is this one right here, to end the com end co to end compound sentence, right? So, for example, if we are going to uh, come here, so we can just add this one here and add the period there. So like this one, Sarah is exhausted, she needs help, all right? So like the one you see as well here in this uh, section, all right? So do you see a difference? In here, it didn't have a period. Then it corrected the period. So you finish the first sentence and then you start with the second sentence. So it's basically about separating the sentences with the correct punctuation, normally a period. Then uh, another way to um, fix a run on sentence, it's to join a compound sentence with coordinating conjunction. What are the coordinating conjunctions? You remember that? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Do you remember what is a coordinating uh, conjunction? Or not, ladies and gentlemen? No? Hello? Jesus. No. This is the last no. class. <laughs> I don't think so. 
All right. Remember that the coordinator conjunctions are the ones you can see there, like, for example, for, but, and, nor, or, yet, etc. Right? So all of them are the coordinating conjunctions right here. So, um, for example, take a look to this one right here. When it comes um, to this one, let me point it out. Here it is. Here. I want to pay attention to this one right here. It says, right, Sarah is exhausted from work. Then we finish the first sentence. We add a comma. But after the comma, we add the coordinating conjunction, which in this case is going to be N. She needs help. All right. That's actually what it says there. So um, another one can be, for example, let me add some text right here so we can see it. Uh, okay. I'm going to add it here. So for example, Adriana wants to go to the beach, comma, but the conjunction, she doesn't, oh, she has to do homework. She has to do homework. And that's it. All right, so you see it here? How did uh, we manage this one? Take a look. So it says like, Adriana wants to go to the beach. This is the first sentence here. Then, yeah, we added a comma, but this one, it's the coordinating conjunction, which in this case is but. And then we continue with the second sentence, right? Another way to say this one, it says this one right here. Adriana wants to go to the beach. She has to do homework, right? So, but she has to do homework like that. So those are the two ways to add um, the um, the card the non the wrong sorry the wrong on sentences right. What else can you do? All right, so to fix a wrong on sentence, another way to do that it's just basically using here as you can see it use a semicolon to join compound sentence right. Sorry, six subjects from war semicolon she needs help. That's the correct um, grammar structure to do that one, the, the, the punctuation symbol there, all right? So, or we can also use a semicolon plus a conjunctive adverb to join the compound sentence, all right? I have a question for everybody here. What's the meaning of the word hence? Mm -hmm. Yep. Hello, hello. Uh, which the one? The word, this one right here, hence. Uh, let me point it out. Okay, this one. Do you see it? Yes, I see it. All right. Do you know the meaning of the word? Okay. I'm assuming you said no. All right, so it's going to be this one. Um, hence, it's not similar, right? That's why. It's por eso, right? O por lo tanto, it can be understood as well. All right, so, like, for example, Sara is exhausted from work, hence, she needs sleep. Sara está cansada del trabajo, por lo tanto, necesita dormir. O por eso, necesita dormir. All right? Understand? Yes. Yes. All right. Excellent. So that's like another way to uh, think so to fix sorry a run on sentence. So to conclude here, what is a run on sentence? It's a sentence. Well, there are two sentences that are joined, but they need to be separated by a period or a semicolon or a comma plus a coordinating conjunction. All right. So those are the ways of where you can actually use a punctuation to um to fix this one okay guys we're gonna make a pause right here so because right now we are going to uh, continue with the survey so please everybody you know the instructions for the survey right so let's see here hello everybody Hello, hello, hello. Yes, teacher. 
All right, everybody, please let's follow the instructions for uh, filling up the survey. The instruction was sent to your WhatsApp group. Remember that according to um, what it says there, all right, so the first thing here, you need to like um, watch the video there, all right, so, which I know this is not the first time you actually fill out this survey, right? You have done this before, have you? Hello? Yes. Sure. All right, excellent. So remember to um, fill the survey and once you finish, you need to send a screenshot um, showing that you have finished the survey to the WhatsApp group. Is that instruction clear? Yes. All right, okay. excellent. So yes, please sure. go ahead and fill the, the survey right now. The link is there. I'm going to also share it here in the chat so you can see it. I'm going to pause this one. One sec. Teacher. Tell me. Today is the last day. Yes, ma'am. Today is the last day. Uh, because I can finish the homework. Oh, so, would you have today to finish it? <laughs> Who's that one, Carla? Yeah. Because of I, your... I try because I, I can see very well. Yeah. I can watch very well. Right. So we, we will ask Carla to see what, what can be done in that case because you are sick, all right? Okay. You're welcome. All right, I'll share the link also here in the chat. So in case you don't see it, you can fill the survey now. In the chat, the Zoom teacher, right? Correct. It is also in WhatsApp, but it's also here in Zoom. Okay. It's in both places. I am here. Welcome. Remember to send the screenshot once you finished. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Don? Okay, got the first one. Thank you. That was mm -hmm. you, right? Uh, Adriana, right? Yes. Thank you, honey. All right, so let's see. Good on this one. Mm -hmm. The number of the order to share. Sure, let me just copy that here in the group so you can see it, all right? Okay. That's this one right here. Oh, I saw it before.
Perlita, are you there? Yes, teacher. All right, I was asking right now, so what can be done uh, in your case? And I was told that you can get in contact with the lady who sends the link every day. I guess it's Rebecca Flores. Okay. So you can uh, explain your situation there and uh, she's going to, um, you know, guide you and give you, I mean, give you a solution to that one, all right? Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. The number is in the group. It's the girl who sends the link every day, all right? So I got, let's see how many people have filled. Two people according to what I can see here, right? I guess one is, see, three people. Adriana, Hector, and Vanessa. Uh, Adriana, can you do me a favor? Okay. Can you reply to your message of the screenshot and add your full name there? Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Hector and Vanessa, for sending that with your names as well. Uh, the number and the and the order is uh A C two nine seven five zero, right? That's correct. That is correct. Okay. And uh, neither the course the uh, English uh, advice number one there. Eh? Correct. Inglés avanzado uno, it says there. Inglés avanzado uno. I guess that has to be in Spanish. you thank you Adriana thank you Samantha thank you Ruth Isela Lucy as well thank you La fecha de inicio, coach. Let me double check. It's in the group. Let me see. I guess it was August. You find it around. No, it's um... yeah, August thirtieth. Okay. And the and the in the last day is gonna be today, right? I'm gonna just like share the information of the group so you can see it. So you can see Fatima Nelson as well, thank you.
Is anybody having difficulty sending the survey, people? Please let us know right now. So what have is Coleman still online? Let me see. Them. Yes, he is. Coleman, Mr. Luna, Erica. Are you filling in the serve the survey? Ivan Guzman, thank you for sending the screenshot. I'm missing Erica Holman. And Mr. Luna. So I have here one, two, three. Hold on, thank you. One, two, three, four. I sent this picture. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Thank you, eleven. Do you take the screenshot, Mr. Luna? Yes, sir. I, 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 I sent it. Let me resend. Oh, yeah. Here I got it. Thank you, Mr. Luna. Okay. Erica, are you still online? I guess I'm just missing Erica's survey. So let's see. So let's see. Right, Hector, Vanessa, Daniel. Jamie, did you send this? Ivan, Nelson, Fatima, Lucy, Ruth, Samantha, Adriana, Vanessa. Hello, uh, Jamie or Erica. Can you girls tell me if you'll be able to send the survey or if we can move forward? Hello, hello.
Well, um, let's just continue with the class people just to take advantage of the time and help these girls in actually send the um, um the survey in a moment, right? So let's see here. Okay, so let's just continue right now. So we, we're actually talking about this topic. So were you? Uh, do you have any questions regarding the grammar topic that we're discussing tonight about the run-on sentence? Or is it clear? Put away the phone. Oh my goodness. All right. Very smart. Okay. So now let's just go back then to the presentation, right? So we can continue checking if you have paid attention or not. So let's see. There you go. So we can continue. So we go with this one right here. Now, everybody, please go to the presentation because we have some questions to answer, right? All right, excellent. So it says this one. Which one of this? It's a run on sentence. You have to choose that one. Which one? It's a run on sentence. So Adriana has answer and the rest people. Hello everybody, go to the presentation. Right now, right now. All right, all right. I'm gonna stop the time so we can. Okay. Which which sentence right. are all sentences? Mm -hmm. So I got three answers right now. So that will be Adriana, Samantha, Hector, Bane. Thank you guys for answering. What about the rest? Thank you, Fatima. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Sela. I'm missing Ivan, Jasmine, and Holman, and Antonio Luna. Go ahead, Liz. Okay. I have, I have problems with my internet. <laughs> oh, I see. I'm sorry. So Jasmine, Ivan, what's up, Ivan? Were you able to answer the question or not? Yes, uh, I sent in the, the, the answer. The answer, all right. Uh, answer, but uh, sending, say, <laughs> in the platform. All right, no problem. Esperando que los demás respondan. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see how it works now. Um, let's see which one is the correct one. Oh, all right. So five people actually got it. So we call each other every day and talk on the phone. Remember that the run on sentence, it's a sentence that it's not correct, right? So the one that doesn't have any punctuation, no comma, no period, no semicolon, etc. right? But don't worry. So you can actually try on the next one. Let's see what is it. Be ready, people. We are about to start now. Mm -hmm. Which is this? It's a run on sentence. So I can see Samantha has answer, Daniel, Holman, Ivan, okay, Hector, 
Adriana, Fátima, very good. We're missing Isela, Vanessa, Hasmin. Thank you, Vanessa. There we go. Isela, Isela, we're waiting for you, Isela. Three, two, one, time's up. So let's see, let's see, let's see. What it's going to be. All right, the correct answer, what's just this one? Yeah, like this one, ladies and gentlemen, remember? So we are not saying which is a co uh, how to correct the sentence. It's just like, what is the mistake? What is the one that it cannot be correct? I mean, that the sentence that is wrong, basically. So it's this one right here, right? The one you see there in blue. So, which is just like, I want to own my own company. Someday I hope to be a good boss. So thank you. Let's just go on the next one there. Thank you. So, time for you to practice. Okay, so I have three people already answering the question. Five, six, six, eight. excellent, excellent. Adriana, Daniel, Isela, Samantha, Hector, Holman, Fatima. What about Jasmine, Vanessa? Oh, hey, Ivan. And that's it. That's it. Thank you. Now you got it, right? So we'll still have some time. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see. Oh, Brian. Three seconds so we can see the answer. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I'll see. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh. And this one you need to get it. All right. So like that. Oh my goodness. You know now. Let me ask you a question, people. Let me ask you a question because I see that this one, it was actually um something right here. Let's discuss it. It says right here, um, that you need to select the run out sentence, which means like the one that is not correct. So did you understand what it's that sentence? Mm, teacher, we have to choose the wrong, not the correct. Exactly, because right now the question mm -hmm. says, which of these, it's a run on sentence, you know? I understood that we have to choose the correct one. Ah, yeah, that's why everybody's choosing the correct one, but no. The question says, which is which is the run on sentence and remember that the run on sentence it's the one that doesn't have punctuation right okay let's try again you know what let's just restart the same question let's see now we can actually um have a better luck on this one okay Let's see if you have time or not. Let's see. No, no yet. All right. Let me just check right now. Let's see who's in first place. Oh, look at that one. Samantha and Ruth are in the first place. Places, all right, excellent. So yes, it's actually the correct one. It's like this one, very good, thank you. It's just like that, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's continue with the next one right here. Okay, 
take a look at this one. It says, fix the run on sentence. So now you have the opportunity to rewrite, or in this case, type the sentence in the correct way, right? So which one will be that one? Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Only two people have sent the answers. I'm seeing some answers right here. I'll show you. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Let's see, time's up. Uh -huh. Samantha and Isela continue at the top, all right? So we can write the exercises right here. Let's see. Uh, the correct answer, it says, I want to own a company. Someday I hope to be a good boss. Let me see the answers. Maybe this is just like this. Okay. I want to own a company someday. Right. I hope to be a good boss. So yeah, that's the right one. I mean, someday I have to be a good boss. Yes, because remember, it's supposed to be this one, right? Someday I have to be a boss. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Did you see where is the mistake, people? Uh huh. Do you see what happens? Yes, yeah. on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, it's on Sunday. So as you can see here, you actually had to add the the period after company and before Sunday. And most of you, <laughs> like pretty much everybody, right? We're adding that after Sunday, and some of you were adding commas. Remember, the commas are not um a good option unless you're using. A conjunction, right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Let's see. Another one. Another one. What is it? Mm -hmm. oh, what's up here? We got stuck. All right. One second, let me see what happens here. Do you see the question, people? No, no. yet. No. No, teacher. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, I guess we got it stuck right here. One quick second, please. Yeah, it got stuck. All right. We'll see what can we do here. Hmm. 
One quick second, please. Trying to figure out what happened. Well, I have to go a plan B here. One second, I'm trying to restart it, okay? So thank you for your patience. Can you join again? I think it's gonna be the same. Yes, thank you. I can see you're joining again. Thank you, thank you. Let me see who else is here. Okay. Uh -huh, everybody else. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's start again. And we'll see if we go to where we were before, number seven. All right. Okay, this is the one we were supposed to be working on. Go ahead. Okay, let me see how your answers are right now. See what happens with the answers, people. Hello, hello. There you go. Thank you, Vanny. Judy and I are the same height. We both have blonde hair and green eyes. Okay. You corrected it. And the rest... I'm gonna stop the timer so you can get um more time. Adriana added a semicolon. Okay, interesting. We had two versions of this one. What about the rest? Mm -hmm. Fatima says, okay, Fatima. You basically wrote the same thing. You just added a capital letter. Samantha added a semicolon. Very good. Awesome, awesome. So let's see who else is adding here. Daniel says, Jody and I are the same height, comma, we both have blonde hair and green eyes. Well, that's basically the same, okay. So let's see, we have five answers and we are eight people, okay? Let's continue. Hello, hello, what about the rest, people? Wanna see your answers? Ivan? Adriana is here, Samantha, Vane, Fatima, Daniel, Holman. Who else is here? Let's see. 
Ah, uh, Erica says she's driving. Hector, Jamie, Nelson, Vanessa is here. Thank you. Okay, let's just continue with this one here. Oh, let's see, Isela, Jody and I are the same in height. It's like Venice. All right, let's see what it says. Oh, somebody else did it too? Oh, man, there you go. So let's see which of the answers are actually done correctly. Mm -hmm. Isela got the points. Okay. Let's see. Jody and I are the same height, period. We both have blonde hair and green eyes. Let's see what happens. So why you didn't get this one? Jody, who got the points actually? I don't remember. Isela he says, right? So let's see. Jody and I are the same height. We both have blonde hair and green eyes. Vanessa, also, you have the same, but that's the red one. You didn't know anything behind. So, Diana, no, there's colon, comma, semicolon, comma. So, let's see. Yeah, the points should be for Jory and I. Let's see. Are the same height. We both have blonde hair and green eyes. Um, this one, correct, and this one, why? Do you see a difference in this one? You and I are the same. I wrote blonde in school. Oh yeah, I can see that. This is blonde <laughs> and that's like bloated. You forgot the end. That's the reason mm -hmm. why. But you got the idea, right? The purpose of the sentence. So use me to spell a word. Let's see how you go with the next one. I'll also stop the time in this one so you still have plenty of time. Fitness is important to her. She runs every day. How would you fix this one? Very interesting. So let's see. Come on, hurry up. Okay. So let's see. Okay, okay, let's see. Okay, okay so let's see. Let me see if I received some answers already. Yeah, I got four. So fitness is important to her. She runs every day, Adriana. Fitness is important to her. She runs every day. Same, Isela, Samantha. And okay, Vani went for the semicolon this time. Oh, you added also hands. Interesting. Let's see, you know. Grammatically speaking, that would be correct. Let's see what actually this says about it. Let's see. Okay, so just the ladies are actually participating. What about the gentlemen? Oh, Holman, thank you for representing the boys. Let's see if it is correct. Hmm. Let's see what it says. Who got the points? Like everybody else, but Vanny, so she it didn't take your your answer, Vanny. So let's see. The correct answer according to this one is this one. 
But I have to say, Bunny, that this is also correct. Fitness is important to her, hence she runs every day. So that, I mean, it's not the answer that we were expecting uh, for this one, but it is also correct, okay? So let's see. Now let's just talk about this one. So there's more than one way to fix a run on, as we were learning before. So what are those uh, ways to do it, all right? So now I need a volunteer who can help me to actually uh, read here, all right? So let's see, can you help me to read this one, ladies and gentlemen, someone who can help me? Hello, hello? Come on, people, it's the last class. So help me to read. Yeah. Who's it me? Who's that one? Vanessa. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, who? All right, Vanessa, please help me with the number one, the compound sentence. Uh -huh. Compound sentences put two simple sentences together using conjunctions. Give me an she example. Need, she needs a new jacket, but she wants a new watch. There you go. Excellent. So that's actually what we were checking before in the image, right? So that we have the comma and then you have a conjunction like but. Thank you. Select the next person for number two, please. Ivan. Okay. Ivan, Ivan. Uh -huh. Tell me. Uh, con conjunctions are linking, right? Correct. Conjunction and linking words like and or, but, so, and show adding information. Mm -hmm. For example? For example, Rob and Sarah go to the library. 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 Thank you. Mm -hmm. Library, comma. And they study for three hours. Thank you very much. Continue, please. But show something different or a contract. For example, yeah. I work on Saturday, comma, but I don't work on Sunday. Thank you. Continue. So shows the results. For example, King's missing her family, comma, so she calls day every weekend. Thank you very much. And the last one, please. Or show two different choice. I can choices. choices. Excuse me. Choices. I can save my money, comma, or I can buy a new dress. Thank you very much. Excellent. So that's actually examples of conjunctions, right? And as you can see before, I guess it was uh, Vanessa. You were the one using hands, right? In the previous exercise. So you can see one of those can be perfectly used as well here, depending on what you're trying to uh, demonstrate, to add information, to um, show something different on a contract, to show a result or two different choices as well. Do you have any question uh, regarding the sentences, ladies and gentlemen? Yes or no? No questions? Hello everybody, no questions? No. No. All right. Excellent. So let's just continue here. If you don't have questions for me, I have questions for you. Now you have this one right here. Choose the compound sentence. What is a compound sentence? We just checked it before. So now just choose it. Please go ahead. Okay, one person has answered the question. Mm -hmm. Two people, very good. Fatima, Samantha, Vanessa, and Adriana. So we're missing Daniel, we're missing Holman, and we're missing Isela, and we're missing Okay, oh, Holman has two profiles, so I guess we're fine. All right, yeah, let's see now. Let's see who got the points, people. Pay attention to this one, so super important right here. Time's up, and it says the points go to... 
Isela, a little bit, la, la, the, the table, right? All right, excellent. So, yes, absolutely correct. All right, so, yeah, 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 compound sentence. Yeah, excellent. So, like, everybody got the correct answers. There were three correct answers, and only one that was not correct, and nobody chose that was up. Good job. All right, thank you. Let's see the next one, the next one. The next one says right here, we're about to see it right now. Three, two, one. Question, question, right? Choose the compound sentences. You have some options right there and you have a minute to answer. This is like the sentence you have right there, all right? Let's see, let's see. We have four options and you need to choose the compound sentences. All right, just like you previously did in the last uh, question. So now you have the opportunity to put into practice your knowledge again. Come on, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So I guess everybody already finished because it's only seven of you. Right on time. Awesome. So let's see who got the points here. It's like everybody, right? Oh my God, Adriana took the first place. Maybe she answered first. Hmm, what happens right here, All right? Compound sentences, remember that they are two sentences, Um, you know, joined in one single sentence, right? Number one, it says you can pay with cash or a credit card. It's not a compound sentence. Uh, mm -hmm. This thrift store has uh, a lot of cheap clothes, but they are good quality. I'm buying a t-shirt to, uh, no, 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 it's not compound. And there were only two in this one. I have shirt, my this shirt in three colors and I wear it all the time. Yeah, that's a, another one right here. I have a question for you. Why the first one, you can pay with cash or a credit card? It's not a compound sentence. Can you tell me? Me, we just have just uh, one verb. Exactly. So it says like you can pay with cash. That's the verb, pay. And then or a credit card. That's not a verb. That's not an activity. It's just like, you know. The second option for the sentence, but still just one. Same happens in the um, number three, which says like, I'm buying a t-shirt, two skirts, and blue jeans. You are just basically giving, giving a list of items, but not a compound sentence. No more birds, no more one, no more one subject, right? So let's see the next one. Let's see how it goes. Thank you, thank you. Let's see the question. Choose the compound sentences. You have the first one. Coffee needs a large and his sister needs a small. Please keep the receipt to make a return. This sweater costs $9.99. It's on sale. My favorite color is blue, but all of my clothes are black. Mm -hmm. Some possible options. Only one person ha has answered the question at the moment. Two people already. You still have 30 seconds, all right? Three people, very good. Four people, five, uh -huh. 20 seconds, six people. We are seven, I guess we're missing one more if I'm not wrong. Let's see. Oh, because this is whole man twice. Oh, you get, you got it. And this one is Fatima. Fatima, are you there? Okay, yes. okay. Sure. <laughs> oh, I heard that. <laughs> okay. So Isela got the first place and says, like, no, Adriana, give me my place back. All right. So she was sent back to second place. Very good. Mm, one person just one of the incorrect answers. And that's correct. It has to be the last one because, of course, it does. My favorite color is blue. That's the end of um sentence. And then you're joining with the conjunction but that shows um contrast. It says like all my clothes are black. So you have two sentences joined by but. And the first one says 
coffee needs a large and her sister needs a small. So coffee needs a large, first sentence, you join it with N, and then his sister needs a small one. So yeah, that's actually correct. Um, thank you. Yep, yep, yep. Very good. Very good. Let's see here. Three, two, one. Next one. Come on, everybody. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. So let's see this one. You need to rewrite that sentence as one compound sentence. Use N or but. She needs socks. He wants a wallet. You can use and or but and use the conjunctions and the one you prefer in the correct punctuation. All right. So come on, everybody. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Mm -hmm. Let's see what people are going to be writing. I'm going to be waiting here for this. Okay. Got the first one from Adriana. He needs socks. Oh, Adrianita, you forgot one letter in the word sock. Did you see that? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> but let, let's see if the structure is okay. Uh, Vanessa, he needs socks, but he wants a wallet. All right. He needs socks, but he wants a wallet. So Samantha and Vanessa have basically the same answer. Uh, Ivan says he needs socks, but he wants a wallet. No punctuation. Ivan, he needs socks, but the, but he wants a wallet. Daniel, no punctuation. Yeah. Isela, he needs socks, but he... And he wants a wallet, but no punctuation. All right, mm -hmm. time's up. Let's see what happens. Who got good points? Okay, some people got some points. But the cell light still number one. <gasps> My God. Let's see what happens right here. Well, Adriana, as I said before, I guess it happens because of that one, right? He suck, but he the wallet. Let me see if this one is correct. Yeah. So, Vanessa, you got the correct answer. Adriana, you were missing the S in suck. Otherwise, the answer would have been correct. All right. Samantha, same question. Correct. Yeah. Ivan, no. No mm. punctuation, no commas. Same as with Daniel. So sorry. Don't worry, my friend. And it sucks. And I, yeah, you forgot the S in sucks. And then the comma after that. Mm. Okay, well, let's see. We we'll still have two more. Let's see this one. Let's go with the next one, ladies and gentlemen. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. All right. It says there, rewrite the sentences as one compound sentence, and you can use and or but. I'm going to be here waiting for the answers. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Ah, first answer, her song's shirt, it's dirty. But, oh, Adriana, you forgot one word. Did you see that? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, my goodness. All right, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. You know, well, the rest can actually take advantage of that, right? So let's see. Fatima, her son's. Oh, Fatima, you miss a spell shirt. All right. Let's see here. Her son's shirt's dirty and her daughter's dress is clean. Oh, only three people were able to send the, um, the answers. Let me see if I got the correct one. Mm, the correct ones. Let's see what happens. <gasps> oh my God. This is the correct answer. Her son's sure it's dirty, but her daughter's dress is clean. <laughs> well, let's see. He says you can use N or bat. All right. Uh-huh. Correct answer here. 
Her son's shirt is dirty, but her daughter's dress is clean. Okay. Oh, Adriana, you know, if you will have, I mean, if you had written her, it would have been correct. Same case here with Fatima. You miss a spell shirt, but the rest is basically correct. And then her son's shirt is dirty. You use N, her daughter's dress is clean. Yeah, I would say that's what is also correct because it says you can do that one. All right, awesome. Let's see this one here. The last one. This is the last one, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Rewrite the sentences as one compound sentence. Use and or but. I'm going to be here waiting for the answers. And let's see what happens. Okay, now Vanna was the first one, so Adriana decided to wait. <laughs> okay, Carol loves shopping, and we go to the mall every week. Ah, very good. So, Carol loves shopping, and we go to the mall every week. Adriana and Vanna have the same answer. Carol loves shopping, but we go to the mall every week. Mm, Fatima. Yeah, I would say the structure is correct. Let's see if but was the correct decision. Uh, let's see. Carol loves shopping and we go to the mall every week. Samantha has a, an answer similar to the previous, uh, to the first two. Carol loves shopping. Ah, Daniel, you forgot the comma after shopping. All right. Carol loves shopping and we go to, oh, Isela, you miss a spell two. You you type Jo. Time's up. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see if I get some points right here. Yeah, we got some correct answers, Adriana and Samantha. So let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see which one is correct. Is it Adriana and Samantha? So what happens with with uh this one, Vanessa? All right, correct. Carol loves shopping, and we go to the mall every week. So that was correct one, as I said before. Adriana, we saw that is correct. Fatima, that is not correct, but I guess it's because you selected but, all right? So, and remember the but shows contrast, right? It's like you're saying, eh, Carol ama las compras, pero nosotros vamos al el centro comercial de fin de semana. So it's just like a contrast instead of saying like, that's why, all right? He was at this one, excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you, my friends. Thank you very much. So I guess with this one, we are done. Yes, we're going to finish the presentation right here. Oh, we got a third, a first, second, and third place right here. Let me see this one. Okay, the end we got the first one. Congratulations. Samantha, the second one, and Isela, the third one. So good job, girls, for actually participating in this one. And then we are going to stop the share right here so we can go to the next activity because we have two activities more to practice with. All right, so let's see. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now we go with this one, if I know wrong. Yes. We're going to actually go with the manual, people. The manual, the manual, right? So we can see here. In the manual, they also explain to you, all right, so about this uh, re, I mean, run on sentence, the run on sentence. And then we are going to be working on this one. So this is our first activity here to uh, go to the breakout rooms and work with that. All right. So we are going. To, I'm going to send this um image to the WhatsApp group, so you can also see that once we move to the breakout rooms. Um, what are we going to do? It's very simple. Let's see. Ivan, are you there? Yes, it's Carl. Hello, Ivan. Thank you, my friend. Can you help me to read the instruction? What it says, number nine. Okay, read the following sentences. Identify the wrong ones and correct. Then use the strategies mentioned it in the box above. All right, so the strategies mentioned in the box above are the ones we check in the presentation, right? So we already know that one. So basically you have six sentences right there. You are going to rewrite them and correct them. 
on that one, all right? So we're going to see how it goes. Okay, now let me prepare the breakout rooms right now. So how many are we? So we are 14, but not everybody is here. So we're gonna be like that. Okay, so let's see here. One second, one second. Okay, there you go. Okay, so let's go to all the rooms right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to send this uh, image to the WhatsApp group right now so you can see that there. Thank you, Erica and Jamie, for sending the survey. Also, Carla, thank you very much. All right. The information has been sent to the WhatsApp group, people, in case you say it. So let's see. Holman, hello, Holman. Holman, Holman. Hello, hello, hello. All right, um, Hector, I know you're only listening. And what happens with you, Isela? Hello, Isela? Oh, Isela is joining again. You're using a different device, Isela? Hello? I have a problem, the connection. Okay, no problem. Okay. Let me let me send you right now to a group, all right? Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> and Daniel, Lucy, Nelson, do you have the activity? Or not? No, okay. All right. So basically, what you guys are going to be doing here, it's just like, um, you know, correcting the sentences, just like the same activity we were doing in the presentation, right? But with the examples uh, from the book, right? Is that clear? Okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you, whoever is sharing that one. 
Okay. Thank you, thank you. So, for example, we have to add commas and... Commas, periods, or semicolons, or conjunctions if it is necessary. For example, I'll, I'll be here for number one. How would you rewrite it? Um, I think um, the means it is make to that person your partner. Um, maybe here, but uh, like a period. Mm -hmm. It imposed and uh, everything, maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. What about the rest? What do you think, people? The music is to make that portion your part. It imposed them in everything they do. Would you change anything? Hmm. Remember, you can also use semicolons to continue with the idea, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's better. With the same column. Mm -hmm, exactly. I agree with you. All right. Thank you very much. You got this one. So that's what you need to do with the rest of them. All right. Okay. Teacher, but the second one, I think, is a little bit difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Yes, that's because. Mm -hmm. Tell me why. A, a comma here. <laughs> and we use here. Uh, the uh, a conjunction. And. Uh, yeah, and it's a conjunction. But do you remember in the presentation the sentence that says, I bought a t shirt, a wallet, and a pair of shoes? Ah, okay, okay. Remember? So this is just like you know, part of the second sentence. It's not to join mm. the first one with the second. It's part of the second sentence only. So what you need to pay attention to, it's where the comma goes after recruitment. So the companies will need to embrace radical changes mm. in recruitment. And then should I leave the comma? Should I change the comma for a period or should I actually change it for a semicolon? Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I got it, okay. Thank you. Hmm. I think it's better a semicolon. <laughs> okay, there you go. That's what you need to be doing. All right, I will go to a different room to help other people. If you have questions, just call me, all right? Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The most relevant person, multi generational or for the same. Maybe. Coach, is correct. Hello. <laughs> Which correct. one? Uh, number one, number two. Okay, so let's see. The mindset is <laughs> that person, your partner. It involves them in everything they do. So you are a comma, right? Right. The first one. Um, okay. Would you be adding only the comma or anything else? Not only comma. Only comma. Okay. Okay, that's actually correct as well. Check in with the next one. We'll be replacing a really understanding. Companies will need to basically the changes here. Perfect. A corporate culture will actually be able to show it. Yeah, number two, also correct. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're doing good, doing good. 
Okay, we've replaced a real understanding of the individual individuals human generation with false assumptions about the entire generation. This can be particularly destructive in the workplace. We're replacing a really on this understanding on the individuals giving semicolon. Mm, but where we are replacing a really on the starting of the skin first capital we replace a real understanding of the individuals in individuals. 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 Comma. Mm -hmm. In any given generation with false assumptions about the entire generation. I don't know. Es que te, this can be particular. Actually, is, there is a comma in generation. But, but no. in that place. Uh -huh, in that place. But I'm not sure if we need another one or semicolon or period. We've replaced a real understanding of the individuals. Mm -hmm. no, no, I don't know. We've replaced a real understanding of the individuals. <laughs> We've replaced a real Okay. I don't know. Period. Oh, okay. Have replaced a real understanding of individuals. But in any given generation. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's part of the first sentence? For me, uh, the pleasure we understand how it continues. Maybe, yes. It could be. Yeah. In any given generation. And what about Erica? Erica, you never arrive home? <laughs> Actually, I'm at home, but I don't want to interrupt them. Ah, uh, of course. <laughs> I, was watching, I was watching how how they pause. how they did. Pause. Don't worry, they have three more sentences. You can participate in one of them. <laughs> for me, this one, the third one, it's correct. You can change the column for a period, right? In that generation. Correct. Yeah. This this okay, can be so I will go to a different room. If you have questions, let me know. All right. Okay. Okay. Generation. No. Are catching up. No. Terms. In the number three, uh, I I don't understand. Why not? Tell me, what's the question you have? It says right here. Let me open it in the book because this is very small for me. Number three, you said. Number three. Okay, it says we have replaced a real understanding of the individuals in any generation with false assumptions about the entire generations. This can be particularly destructive at any workplace. So, well, it's a longer sentence, but still one of them. So, you know, I'll give you a tip. We need to replace the comma. Which one would you choose? A period or a semicolon? Mm 
Do you see the comma there? Comma. In the number three? Yeah, a comma, after generations. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so then we need to change or replace that comma by um period or semicolon. One of those, right? Just one. You tell me which one and that will be all. Okay. Um. All right. I'll go to another breakout room. If you have questions, just let me know. All right. Okay. Right. Thank you. The number four, the generations. Uh, we only Hello, Jay. Okay, very good. So it seems to be that you finished. All right. No problem. Oh, I like this one. Very good. So let's see you finish. I think. <laughs> Aliens are supposedly take safety, but baby boomers are loyal to their place. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. I like it. That was very good. Okay, so let's see here. So let's see here. Awesome. All right. Yeah, very good. Thank you very much. You actually um helped me with this one. And you uh, guys did a very good job, right? So was it difficult for you guys? Mm, for me, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit? Why is it? Is when we have, for example, the third one is a little bit mm -hmm. longer, uh, the the clauses. Mm -hmm. So I, it's a little bit difficult when this, we have like these cases. Right. You know what? It's not like it's difficult. What happens is a little bit longer than a regular yeah. sentence, right? That's why it can create confusion. But at the end, you need to just determine where does the first sentences sentence sorry finished right so you can like set the point here right but yeah mm -hmm. you did good so we are going to stop right here so we all are going to go back to the main uh, room so we can go there all right okay you know Hello, Daniel and Hector. So it seems to be that you have been having uh, connection issues tonight, right? Yes, yeah, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. It happens. Right? Yeah, I have problem with my Wi-Fi from my home. Right. Let me share the screen so we can see this again. All right, excellent. So now we are going to continue. Um, and you have been 
discussing this information in the breakout rooms. And now it's time for you to like share your answers with the whole class. So to see if everybody agrees, disagrees, they can um, provide a different answer or maybe it was not necessary to change anything. We will see that right now. So, okay, I need a volunteer, volunteer, voluntarily volunteer. All right, so who helped me with the question or the exercise number one? Who's my volunteer? Tell me, who is it? Hello, hello. I'm gonna try, teacher. <laughs> Thank you, Erica. Welcome to the class. <laughs> right, so. Thank you. I'm sorry. Okay, it says the mindset is to make that person your partner feel good. It involves them in everything that you do. All right, so you will add there a period. Um, yeah. <laughs> Not what you're saying? Yes, yes, yes. So she said that period. Will you agree with that one, people? Yes or no? Everybody else? She said here, right? A period. So it says right there, the mindset is to make a person your partner. It involves them in everything they do. Okay, so I guess everybody agrees since anybody said anything else. Now, Erica, for being so brave and being the volunteer for the first exercise, you have the power to pick the next person. Please go ahead and help me with that. Nice. Let me check. Fatima. Dear Fatima. Thank you. All right. Hello, Fatima. Hi. <laughs> what happened? Mm, companies will need to embrace radical change and recruitment. Come a corporate. Um, um yes, comma a corporate culture will actively demonstrate respect and inclusion for its multi-generational workforce. Thank you. So you wouldn't change anything, so you will keep the coma. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Fatima. Now I have to ask the question to everybody else. Do you agree with that or disagree? Do you have any other option or not? I have another option. I, what um, is it, Adriana? I used um, so, comma, and so. This can be particularly destructive in the workplace. Okay, let me see how it sounds with so. It says companies will need to embrace radical changes in recruitment. So a corporate culture will actively demonstrate respect and inclusion for its multi-generational workforce, right? So, so, <laughs> any other option? Maybe also. Mm, but also when you're trying to add more things, right? Mm. But this is just like joining. Mm. Don't worry. Let me help you with this one right now here. It's going to be very easy. You had it already. Okay, done. Semicolon. That's it. You just join in. All right. So like uh, companies will need to embrace radical changes in recruitment. So a corporate culture will actively demonstrate respect and inclusion for its multi-generational workforce. All right. 
that's it. So you're just joining the idea, right? So basically, um, it says right here, that one, all right? Thank you. Thank you guys for uh, helping me with number one and number two. Now I need a volunteer for number three. Who would, will that be? Uh-huh. Hello, hello. Come on, people. We only have seven minutes of class and it's the last class. So participate. So let's see. Okay, well, who was the last person participating? That was uh Fatima or Adriana? I don't remember. The last time. It and was you, Adriana. Fatima. All right, so can you help me? Okay, let's go with you, Fatima. Give me the chance to, um, I mean, help me with the next volunteer. Nelson. 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 All right, Nelson. Are you still here, Nelson? Yes, teacher. Aha, uh -huh. Jesus, that's like the longest one. Thank you. And uh hi, -huh, Nelson, what's gonna be the answer? Mm. Mm -hmm. What is the number center sentence? Number three. Okay, in we will replace a real understanding of individuals in any given generation with false assumptions about entire generations. Comma, mm. so this can be particularly destructive in the workplace. Thank you very much. In that one, I will definitely add the so, comma, so. Thank you. You did it wonderfully in this one, even though it's the longest sentence. Thank you, my friend. Good job. Uh, Nelson, now tell me who is going to go for number four, number four, number four. Ivan. Hmm? Ivan. Hello, Ivan. Ivan, Ivan, are you there? Mute. Different person, Nelson, please. Uh, Holman. Holman. Let's see. Holman, are you still online? He's apparently here. <clears throat> Hi. Hello, Holman. Number four is all yours. Number four. Uh... Mm -hmm. I think the generations are catching, catching up in terms of basic capabilities. Uh, mm -hmm. Pilot. Um, which one were you reading? Capabilities, they exhibit different interest in emphasis. Emphasis. Wow. Capacity, capabilities. Cap capability, capabilities. For pilots, they exhibit different interests and in basis. Um, what's the change in that one? Pilot in capability. Uh, Capabilities, pilot, they exhibit mm -hmm. different. Oh, sorry, you mean period? Period. Mm -hmm. Capabilities, period, they exhibit different interests and in pace. Oh, and. Okay. Uh -huh. But I think period. 
period. All right. Yeah. That's actually let's see. Uh, generations are catching up in terms of basic abilities. They exhibit different interests and emphasis. Yeah, period. Well, works for this one. So y'all did good. Thank you very much on that one. All right. Hold on. Now tell me who's going to be the one for number five. Number five, number five. Hector. Hello, hello. Hector, are you online? Hello, Hector. Holman, go for a different one, please. Hello? Um, Isela, Ruth. Isela, thank you. Okay, the number five. Come on, please. Correct, please. People, people perceive each other differently. Sa, o say, then. Then, they, they really, really are. Uh -huh. Really are economic, comma, consequences, mm -hmm. comma, include millennials, comma, quitting. <gasps> Too many commas. Uh -huh. And because they feel misunderstood, I think. There you go, excellent. So you added three commas, is that correct? Yes. All right, so well, in this case, who has a different option here? Thank you, Isela, for sharing your answer. What about the rest? Would you agree with that one or do you have a different one? Mm. Different. <laughs> oh, you also have a different one, Isela? Um, yes, I think. Uh -huh. What would that be? Mm -hmm. People perceive each other differently than they really are economic. And consequently includes millennials including include millennials quitting because they feel misunderstood as thank you very much let me help you with this one so there is a period after r why after r because it says people perceive each other differently that they really are diferente de lo que son and you finish with the sentence there in r then you add a period and then you continue with economic consequences including millennials quitting because they feel misunderstood. So it's a different sentence after that one. So I will go and add a period. All right, so, but thank you. Thank you very much. Let's see, the last one. Let me see who's available there. All right, Adriana, are you there? Yes, teacher. Number Can you six. give me a hand with the last one, honey? Okay. Correct. Millennials are supposedly savvy comma but baby boomers are loyal to their employers thank you very much that is actually correct because you're trying to show a contrast right so yes yeah, so a comma and then the conjunction but that that's all all right very good well ladies and gentlemen we are going to stop right here because the class already finished, right? So I wanna say thank you very much for participating in all the activities we have been working on during these days. I know we have been talking about generations for a long time, but we have been working and sharing different opinions. And I really wanna say thank you guys for, uh, first of all, accepting me in the group, right? Because I know I just joined the class in the last couple of days and you make me feel as part of the group. 
right? And you were actually cooperating in everything I was uh, guiding you, right, with. So I want to say just thank you, everybody. And I wish you nothing but the best in your English studies. Continue working, continue preparing yourself, right? If you need my help, you know, you got my number. You can text me anytime you need it. And I will be more than happy to continue helping you. Thank you again. And I hope you have a wonderful night. It was a pleasure, people. Take care. Uh, thank, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. It's a pleasure, too. Thank you. Bye, good night. Good night. Bye, bye Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Teacher. Thank you. Don't forget to, to, to finish the homework. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.